Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create compensation drive factor. So drive factor define how to calculate certain eligibility criteria that change over time, such as person's age, length of service, compensation, and hours work. Uh, drive factor for compensation define a range of value and rules for calculating an employee's compensation amount. Uh, for example, uh, like if employee's salary uh, falls between the 25,000 to uh, 35,000. So what kind of a compensation amount is the uh, we can allot to the employee. So let's move on to the application for creating the drive factor for compensation. Here under my client group, click on the show more option and find the compensation and the compensation you can, you have the drive factor option, click on it. And here we can see the uh, many options, age, length of service, age and service, compensation, hours work, full-time equivalent. So here we only create the compensation. So just click on the create option for creating new one and search existing one. Just click on the search option. Here you can see the already created compensation. Let's click on the create option. Here fill the name of the drive factor. And give the name salary between 20 to 34,000 and select the unit of measure. I select here the US dollar uh, source uh, stated compensation and you can uh, fill the range of value here like greater than or equal to compensation. So greater than 20,000 and less than 35,000. Okay, so here you can also define the determination rule. You can select a determination rule to specify the day on which to evaluate the compensation for eligibility. For example, uh, if the determination rule is set to the first of the year, then the compensation as of the first of the year is used to determine the eligibility. As such, where is the first year? First of year and select here. Then select the rounding rule. The what kind of amount is the, the nearest round? So here I select the round to nearest hundred. And then if you want to create another, just click on the save and create another option. Otherwise click on the save and close option. Oh, stated salary, sorry, we just slam. So it's a uh, monthly, then click on the save and close option. Okay, so this is the compensation drive factor we just created. I hope it is clear to you how we can create the compensation drive factor. Thank you so much for watching the video.